Yo, what is up, people? Welcome to the Everything Football channel. And I hope you're watching for one of two reasons. One, you want to be entertained and educated and informed on everything that's happening in the football world. Or two, I have like 10 million subscribers. I've built the best footballing community on YouTube. And you're just coming back to watch my first video. But either way, I'm glad you're here. And let's get straight into the video. In today's video, we'll be reacting to some of the funniest memes from this past week and some of the best pieces of news. And coming up first is the main man, Marcus Rashford. If you guys don't know, David De Gea has recently left Manchester United, and Marcus Rashford recently made an Instagram post about it, saying goodbye to his friend. But what he forgot to leave out was caption ideas. Now, could this mean Marcus Rashford is using ChatGPT to write his Instagram captions? I don't know, maybe it's an honest mistake, but either way, it's still pretty funny that he forgot to take that out. Up next with the news, Al Nassar withdrew from talks to sign Wilfred Zaha because he was asking for too much money. Now, how is that possible? Saudi Arabia literally offered Messi $1.6 billion for three years. So this makes me wonder, how much money was Zaha asking for? I mean, we'll probably never know, but it's crazy. If you're ever getting down or feeling sad, just remember there's people out there who are a lot dumber than you. 10.6% of FPL users have selected Ivan Tony for their fantasy team. And what they don't know is he's been suspended for betting on games. So they're gonna be in for a real shock when he's out until January. As you guys probably know, Mason Mount has recently signed for Manchester United. And as a Liverpool fan myself, I'll be making a lot of jokes out of that. But anyways, the joke here is that Mason Mount is finally going to wear his first number seven. A lot of his foot mob ratings from the past season, as you can see, clearly weren't that good. But hopefully he'll be better at Manchester United. Actually, hopefully not. I'm a Liverpool fan. I don't really care. Speaking of Liverpool, Liverpool have recently signed a guy with the last name of Sabazlia. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but there's two things about him. One, he's a really good player, and two... He's pretty confused. In his post when he was being welcomed to Liverpool, he said, see you again soon, Champions League. What he doesn't know is Liverpool's in the Europa League, so he's gonna be in for a real shock. Fulham recently had a sale on scarves they were selling on their website. The price used to be $7.99, but now they're selling it at the great price of $8.40. So if you see anyone wearing those Fulham scarves, you could assume that they've selected Ivan Tony for their fantasy team. Coming to you soon. Luton Town 1, Tottenham 0, Man City 6, Luton 0, and Tottenham 2, Man City 0. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the results for next year because obviously Tottenham has a history of dropping games to teams worse than them. Man City have a history of bashing teams that are way worse than them. And Tottenham, for some reason, seem to beat Man City every time they play them. So it'll be interesting to see if this happens. And if it does... Um, I don't really know. If you're thinking Jaden Sanchez can have a comeback season, think again. A photo was recently released and it doesn't look like he's been doing his cardio. Unfortunate for Manchester United and Sancho. He was a talented player at Dortmund, but it's not working out for him at United. And to end the video off, I'm going to give you guys a fun fact. Bayern Munich's squad that won the Champions League and the Sextuple costed less than Declan Rice, who's valued over 100 million pounds. Jokes on both of them. I get my rice for less than a dollar. Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Now, as a new creator, I need a lot of feedback from the community because I don't really know what you guys want to see. So please comment down below what you want to see for me, what I could do for you, and any feedback helps. So thank you and see you in the next video.